Billy, I don't see you at school. Where have you been? Yeah. I was in the class. I don't see you. I always try to, when I have time, I try to walk past on the, on the fifth floor. I saw you on elevator. When? Today? Yes. Was that lunchtime? Yes, I was bringing down a student. That was just before lunch. You were on your way up to lunch, I think. Yeah, yeah there were many students down at the elevator. It was all the G G4 students, so I didn't see you. All right, eating some apple or pear. Nice. All right, Lily, how has your week been? Anything interesting this week? Nothing interesting, same old? Yep. Okay. How about this weekend? Anything exciting happening this weekend? No. Nothing exciting, okay. Lily, shall we jump into our lesson, start our news articles for today? Yeah, what is your, what is your topic of Cybertech? So for Cybertech, I am with the G1 students and the G2 students. So I have two topics. The first topic with the G1s is we will create our own city using boxes so we have a, a sheet of wood it's a little bit thick wood so it's strong and on that wood we do city planning so we have I did that in the art class oh really which art in your art academy so did you take like boxes of snacks, maybe some cookies or different kinds of boxes and you, you put the boxes to represent different buildings, a hospital, a school, yeah. apartment building. Yeah. So that's for the G1 class. Where is your, where is your city that you built? Is it at your art academy? And then G2 is about an astronaut. We will make a astronaut helmet using paper mache. Do you know paper mache? No. Paper mache is, so the steps are, you take a balloon, you blow a balloon. The balloon must be the size of your head. And then you tear newspaper into small pieces small pieces yeah. that newspaper you dip into water mixed with some glue <laughs> and then you dip that and then you paste it onto the balloon and then you you cover the balloon with uh, with many pieces it will look like this let me find a picture and then when it dries, when that balloon dries, it will be hard. It will become hard. And then you pop the balloon, and then what's left is the shell. It's like a shell of newspaper. And then you can paint the newspaper, and it looks like this. Paper mache. Did you ever... So here, here is a balloon. Yeah, they're making a paper mache balloon. Yeah. Did you ever make this in your art academy? No. What? And then when it hardens, you pop the balloon, 
and you are left with the shell of the newspaper and then you can put that on as a hat you can put that on as a helmet you can even make when I was in when I was in school I made many I made lots of paper mache and I made planets the our, our solar system made with paper mache what was that did you have a question What about you, Lily? What's your topic for Simon? Rummy Cup. Can you explain Rummy Cup? What is Rummy Cup? Rummy Cup is a game that uh, there are tiles. Tiles, yeah. So you are playing the game. How long does the game? Did you did you play the game already in your class? We always play. You always play. So that means it's fun. Yes. All right. Good. Um, I hope I get a chance to visit your classroom. I want to visit you and too. Yeah. I hope you will visit. Make a nice city. Make a nice helmet. How's your speech for your assignment? Tech? Good. Can you say it for me? Okay, I'll I'll say only that what I'm remembering. Yeah, I sure. Even if you read it, it's okay. I don't have a paper now. Okay, let's see. What okay. did you memorize? it yet it's still early I think maybe you just started you just started when did you start your speech this week yes yeah so next week we will focus on memorizing even my students my students we just started two days ago so next week we will focus on memorizing and an intonation and speaking in an exciting way to get the people that are listening excited so that's what you must practice next week your speech all right that's something we have to look forward to I'm looking forward to Cymatech day I'm looking forward to hearing the speeches and then Cymatech and then it's the field trip did you hear about the field trip yeah you're going <laughs> actually, the, the, the water? The, the yes, water. yes, thank you. I actually, water. I don't know the name of the place. Yes, the water. It's like, I don't know. And huh? the Meshitagi. And you are going to? Fanland. Yeah, how did you know that? Because it's on the communication book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so G1 and G2, we will go to that water park. Where would you rather you go? You will follow who? G1 or G2? I will be with G1. I'm G1 and G2 form teacher. I will be with G1. Not G2? 
G1 and G2. Oh, they are going together. Yes, they are going together. So I'm looking forward to that because it's good. the weather is changing. It's getting so warm. It will be perfect. I will be splashing and throwing everyone in the water. It will be fun. <laughs> Yeah, so that will be exciting. You guys will have fun in Family Land. Nice little farm there. I heard there's a farm, some rides. Have you ever been to Family Land? You have. Is it nice there? Yes. Oh. Very. It's not far. It's not far. That's a good thing. Yeah. That's good. Short ride. All right, Lily. Anything else? Interesting? Exciting? No. Okay. I want to show you a farm, not not from Family Land, but a different kind of farm that that I actually would like to start one day too. Have some vegetables, have some fruits, maybe some flowers, something like this. I remember you told me when before you move to your apartment oh really Lily are you there oh there you are yes okay good I remember you were telling me about when you lived in the house before you moved to the apartment you had some fruits and vegetables so here let's read about this article can you read for me Canadian family Canadian family turns old school into hydrophonic from growing flesh fresh veggies even in winter whole town for the whole town Lily where is this family from Canada they are from Canada yes I am South African. I am from South Africa. You are? Korean. You are from? Korea. Good. They are Canadian. They are from Canada. Lily, they started a hydroponic farm. What does hydroponic mean? It means the plants have no soil. They only have they only have a water supply and plants get nutrients from what from soil. From soil they get things, they get nutrients. So if they don't have soil, they need to get those nutrients from the water. So it's a special kind of water that they have in a hydroponic farm. Lily, what is veggies? Vegetables. Vegetables. It's a short word for vegetables. And look at this room. Where, where did they start this farm? Old school. In an old school. Can you see the board in the back? Oh, yes. The blackboard. Lily, have you ever worked on a blackboard? No. Yes, what? I have that in my house. Oh, so do you have, what's that called that you write on the blackboard with? It's not pencils, it's not marker. Do you know? <laughs> it is chalk. Ah. Oh. Chalk. Can you say for me, we use chalk to write on the blackboard? We use chalk to use write on the blackboard. Lily, I cannot stand chalk. I really don't like chalk. I really don't like blackboards. Why? Because of the sound that they make. Have you ever scratched with your nails down? You see, you also don't like it. So that's the reason I don't like those. Um, 
Some people don't like the feeling of styrofoam. Do you know styrofoam? Yes. H how are you with styrofoam? Are you okay? Yes. You don't like that feeling? Yes. Lily, it says here, even in winter, Canada has a really cold winter, Lily. It's freezing. It's below zero. How can they... What? Yeah, how can they grow plants even in winter? No idea. Oh, because... Uh, I don't know. Because it's inside, Lily. This is inside the school, so they can control the temperature. By what? Oh, good question. Well, if they control the temperature using heated air, if they heat the air in this room, then maybe, maybe the leaves will dry. And if the leaves dry, then the plants will die. die. Exactly. So how else can they heat this room, or how else can they heat... the light? Okay, they can have heated lights, yeah. But do you remember when we went to the strawberry farm? How do they heat those plants? Sun. No, it was not the sun. The man explained. The man explained to us. Do you remember what he said? There was a boiler. So the boiler, good, you remember. The boiler was passing hot water through the pipes. And those pipes are right next to the plants, which keeps the plants warm. Lily, why do they heat the strawberries like that? To stop... <laughs> why? Why are you laughing? My mom is singing up there. I cannot hear. I want to hear. What is she singing? I don't know what is she saying. Is she, did you say she is singing? Yes. Open the door so we can listen. No. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What about you? Do you sometimes sing as well in your house? No, I don't sing that loud. <laughs> Maybe it's one of her favorite songs. <laughs> is it Korean or English? Is, it, is she singing an English? I don't know what is she singing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Lily. Let's see the next one. The next one is about the beach in Greece. Look how beautiful oh. this is. Have you ever been to Greece or do you want to go to Greece? I want to go. I would love to go to Greece too. Nice islands, some good food. Good history. Good history, yeah. The ancient Greek gods. Actually, when I was younger, when I was very young, younger than you, or maybe I was about your age, I went to Greece with my parents. Yeah, we went to the Acropolis, but that was a long time ago. It was actually when we were on our way to visit Bulgaria, we stopped over in Greece. But anyway, let's read here. Can you read for me? Greece makes... Accessible Accessible to wheelchairs with self-operating ramps into the water. So Lily, some people are very unlucky and they they don't have strong legs, they have problems with their legs and they are stuck in a wheelchair. Oh What's wrong? Yes, there it is. This one. Yes, that's the one, that's the one. 
So Lily, you are very lucky. I am very lucky because we are not in a wheelchair. We can walk, we can run, we can play. But people in a wheelchair are not so lucky. Do you agree? Yes. So we are very fortunate. And we must realize this. We must be grateful. Grateful for our health. Are you grateful for your health? Yes. Good. Because something as easy as going into a taxi, going onto the bus, do you think it's easy for the people in a wheelchair? No. No. What else is difficult for the people in a wheelchair? Stairs. Yeah, going up the stairs. Good one. That's, that's really difficult. They cannot go up the stairs. Can you think of anything else? Beaches, no swimming. Yeah, go to the beach. How can you go to the beach if you're in a wheelchair? So that's exact. That's exactly what Greece was trying to help them with. So they created these ramps. What? I'll show you here. So if there is someone in a wheelchair, here they will roll down. They will come down the side, and then they go onto this chair. This chair goes back and forth directly into the water, helping those... What? Yeah, helping those stuck in a wheelchair you know, to... You know, but if we go down, they can only go down to there. They go down to there. They go down into the water, yeah. And when they are done, then they go back up. Let's see. Yes, only a, but that's far enough, Lily. That, how far would you like to go? Yeah. That's far enough. I thought this. I thought this was beach. So the sand. I this was start of the beach. Oh, you thought the blue was the start of the beach? No, no, no. So this is the start of the beach. Yeah, there's the shoreline. That's the shoreline, and that's where the sand meets the ocean. So they are in the water. Lily, look how... No, it's a... It's, it's motorized. So there is, a, there is a mechanism that they can operate themselves. So they can go into the water and out of the water. Did you, did you get it? Lily, I really like this photo because firstly you can see the clear water. Clean, clear water. Look at these boats floating in the water. You can even see the shadow of the boat. There is some nice hotels here. I would love to stay at a hotel like this. Wake up, go to the balcony and see the view of the ocean. Some nice restaurants here. So many boats. Take a nice walk. See how the, the, the neighbors, they are all next to each other. What do you like about this photo? The house is... What about the houses? The design? Yes, design and they are pretty. They are very pretty. In Greece, in some of the islands, they have very white houses. And all... they are all white. Exactly. They are all painted white. It looks really nice and clean. And so the white houses with the blue ocean, really beautiful views. Lily, maybe, maybe if we were at this beach together, maybe you would want to float on a tube. So here, let's put Lily in a tube. Uh, why am I so long? <laughs> <laughs> so there is Lily on a tube and I would be in the boat. I would tie the boat to the tube and then I can pull you along. 
Have you ever ridden in a in a uh, maybe a speedboat that's pulling a tube? I did that one time back in South Africa. It was so much fun. Good exercise because you need to hold on to the tube. All right, Lily. The last one for today is about the Gobi Desert. Gobi Desert. So we saw Canada, we saw Greece, and now the Gobi. Have you heard of the Gobi Desert? Gobi Desert is in China. Without reading this article, without reading, without reading the title, what do these pictures represent? What are all these things? Solar panels. Solar panels. Lily, look how many of them. So many of them. They were built in the Gobi Desert. What? Maybe one thousand. Maybe more than one thousand. <laughs> Why do you think they chose the desert? to build solar panels because there's is no power on the uh, desert there's no power in the desert but they are they are generating power and then that power there, there are more sunlight there is so much sunlight in the desert yes there's one more reason it's the sunlight and is there any build is there any buildings in the desert no no there's no buildings it's flat land no obstructions wide area easy to build so for that reason they built them in the desert lily three articles can you quickly review for me number one First was the something about Canada. Canada family built a farm on in the old school. What kind of farm was it? No soil, only water. Hydrophic. Hydroponic. that you gave there Lily I wish you a wonderful weekend do you have any questions for me before we leave no all right go and sing some songs with your mom no why not what is that is that a magnet stays upside down yes. so there's something heavy at the bottom there uh. Lily have yourself a wonderful weekend I'll see you on Monday bye, -bye. bye Lily bye.